Hey, I'm Mark Salas here. I got Jay Garvin's Church Hill Mortgage, and we got uh, something we want to talk about: solar panels. So, Jay, renewable energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. renewable energy, baby. We've seen it. So, I've had people that have solar panels on the home, and one of the things that the salespeople tell them is, it's worth more money. Mm -hmm. That's false. From what I see, the the comparable sales, whenever we're running a market analysis, it's not. The other thing is people don't realize that when they put a solar panel or a solar system, unless they're paying that system in cash, mm -hmm. that'll lean. And that's a lot of cash. That's eighteen to $28,000. Exactly. Now here's the other thing. Jay has experienced where people go and they want to participate in the refinance because the rates have dropped. Yeah. What, what happens? What this is an there? analogy. Think of solar panels no different than a normal refinance. If you're talking to a mortgage lender and you say, hey, I want to decrease my rate by one percentage point, it's going to cost me $3,000 of my equity in order to do that. Is that a good deal? And I say, if you divide $3,000 in closing costs, by $100 you save every month, that's gonna only take you, if you look at that, 30 months to get your money, and that's less than three years to recapture everything. Yeah, that's a good deal. Now, if someone told you you had to pay $18,000 for a refinance, and it's only gonna save you $100 a month, that's going to take you 15 years, 180 months to pay that off. The math doesn't work. The math doesn't work, and that's what the solar guys are telling you. $18,000 for a new solar system. Oh, just finance it, but you're only going to save 100. Mark, it takes people 15 years to recapture what they invested in their solar. Well, and here's the other thing. Most people do not stay in their homes for that long. No, now, five years is, later. If this is your dream home, you're going to stay in there forever. This is your plan. All right, maybe that's a decision. That you and you're make. paying cash. Yeah, but if you are buying a home, you're only planning on staying there for five to seven years, which most people do, and you're yep. going to move up or you're going to move out, it's not a good investment because all you did is made a huge investment for the next buyer. And by the way, you can't recoup the money. Nope, when you sell the house, you have to clear the lien. And beyond all of that, you shared with me, what's the additional loopholes you have to jump through if you have a roof replacement? Now you need more insurance. You have to make sure that someone takes off the solar panels, replaces the roof, puts them back on. I mean, you educated me on that. Yeah, I mean, you're here in El Paso County. We see a lot of hailstorms. Okay, so you have yeah. a solar panel on your roof. Well, now you get hail damage. Number one, does your insurance cover your, your solar panels? That's a big expense. So you need to make sure that you have additional coverage from your insurance agent. But number two, now you got to coordinate with the roofing yeah. contractor, with the solar panel contractor, and then get the solar panel contractor back out there. So we even saw when we had a couple hell storms back to back a couple years ago, yeah. um, even a for lot the of government, damage. they were nine months behind. Some of these companies, they couldn't get to these roofs to repair the roof or pull the solar panels off. So the roofing contractor can go in there and put the new roof on. Yeah. The other it, thing that we saw is- I love, Solar, I, I, I'm not against solar, but it's like I'm not against cars either. I'm a guy that's gonna tell you if you can't buy a car for cash, then don't buy a brand new car, buy a used car. If you, I love solar, but if you can't pay cash for it, don't finance it because the return on investment, the ROI from the standpoint of an investment just doesn't work. And not only that, you can look at it that if you do sign on the dotted line and you get a solar system, you're locked into the mortgage that you have because that's that they put a second lien on that yes. property. If they do not agree to go in second position again for a refinance, you have to pay them off. You're not getting a refinance. Nope. You got to come up with the money or you just don't get the refinance, correct? Amen. All good advice, my yeah. friend. So, hey, think about that. If you guys are in the market for solar panels, it's really something that you need to consider before you end up signing that dotted line. You have any questions, give me a call. Any questions at all, Jay's here. He's available as well. We'll have his information here. Thanks. Thank you, guys.